incredible environment. Really appreciative to all of our fans that showed up and uh, how they showed up, how active they were. It was as loud as I've ever heard Stegman, ever. And uh, just unfortunate we weren't able to capitalize and reward our fans for helping us and being as big a factor as they were in a game that we had chances you know, to win down the stretch, of course. Credit Tennessee, one of the best teams in the country. Um, got a chance to be a Final Four team. Uh, connect, connect, I thought, was phenomenal down the stretch offensively. Um, they got better in guards. Zakai Ziegler um, is such a presence defensively. He does so many things that, uh, that don't show up in the, in the stat sheet. Uh, the way he blew up our sideline out of bounds um, offense uh, defensively, um, you know, with his activity and energy, I thought he was a huge factor as well. Thought we played really, really hard. A lot of things we've got to clean up, got to continue to get better. Um, but I thought we had some good individual performances. I thought we played with a lot of confidence and, um, and rode the environment in our building. Obviously, a uh, 15-1 run by them to finish the game Oof. there. And uh, so you want to measure yourself against the best. Uh, what was the difference in that window? They fought for every inch on the court defensively. We, we just struggled to get a clean look when it, when it most mattered. But then when we got down, what was it, five or six there? I want to say six. Yeah. We actually got open looks then. They just didn't go, but could have made it more interesting. Um, <coughs> and then our inability to get, to get stops, to slow connect, and to keep them off the foul line. Well, it's sometimes good offense is, is just beats good defense. You know, he, he hit a couple that were heavily contested. I thought we had a couple ill-advised fouls where we're overpressuring him a little bit, and then he just gets easy ones at the foul line. Um, you know, at times, you know, he's able to get to the rim because we're extended a little bit and we're not as, as heavy in the gaps as you'd like to be. That said, they've got, you know, Zakai Ziegler and um, uh, Bescovy and, and guys that can make shots, and that's that's what makes them, you know, who they are. I think that um, they're they're as good defensively as as they've been, and and potentially um, even better offensively. What was your message to the team after this game? Um, you know, a few. Uh, one is um, the fact that. Um, you know, a lot of room for growth, continued growth, right? And we got to get back at it tomorrow. There's 15 more opportunities and then an SEC tournament. And then if we're good enough uh, potentially to earn something in the postseason, then, then it's, a, it's a long process. And um, we got to get back to work tomorrow. We, we've got we to watch it and then we've got to flush it. And uh, the next one will be equally as difficult, but it's a great opportunity as well. Um, and that's it. That's, that's, this is the SEC. You know, that's the other message, the big one for me was, um, you know, all these kids get get noise positively and negatively and individually, and you know, um, let's let's handle that because we've with maturity, right? Because we've handled success the right way over these past ten. Let's see how we handle some adversity. It's been a while, and um, but also let's not ever be thrilled about a loss. Right, we played them close. We had chance. Um, the people that'll that'll say, "Hey, man, that, that's a great effort." That's that's not what you know. We're trying to win those. Um, let's be positive about the the positive things that we did, uh, and let's continue to work to clean up some of the things that we got to get better at. Mike, uh, it's kind of the ten thousand foot question. I know this isn't something you're talking to your team about, but last year you lost at their place by almost thirty points. I mean, it, it, the, where your program's at now. Mm -hmm versus a year ago and the influx of players. Can you just speak to what we're seeing happen with Georgia basketball? Yeah. Today that goes down the stretch in this place? We're a different team. We're, we're a different program. We've got a lot of people that came to support our guys today, and we're really appreciative. And they came to support our guys because our guys have, have produced, because our guys play hard and they play together. And we've beaten some good teams, and it's created some excitement. So, I'm, you know, I'm proud of what um, our guys were able to accomplish during that the winning streak. Um, and we're a better team. We're a significantly better team than a year ago. Um, but again, let's see how we respond to that adversity. Uh, and that said, you did mention that it was on the road. <laughs> you know, and in this league, man, uh, we're back at it Tuesday. 
right? We're, uh, we're going to have some, some really tough tests on the road. And um, sometimes some games can be lopsided in this league uh, for, for visiting teams. You know, we certainly hope we're, we're more competitive on the road this year. I think we will be. What's following up on that Blue Canes and Knoxville? Kid? Yeah, happy for him, man. Get some big clutch shots today. What does the performance do like that for a freshman? Probably with Blue, not much. He's one of these guys, you know, he'd be the same guy tomorrow uh, in practice and be the same guys we're preparing for South Carolina. Um, he's very even keel. Uh, he's got quiet confidence, quiet toughness. He's continuing to get better. Jalen goes into the locker room there early. Looks like he came out with a wrap on his hand. Just yeah. What's, what's his status? And, I mean, gave you all good minutes in the second half. I thought he played with great energy. You know, he, he's a competitive guy. And um, one of his better games, and, and, uh, without even knowing what he did from the stat sheet standpoint, um, definitely impacted the game defensively. Four offensive rebounds, wow, in 14 minutes. Um, and got his hands on a couple more, too. Um, looks like it's a wrist, hand, something. I'll get with, with Lance, and we'll figure it out. Mike, do, you, do you look at it as you, you lost an opportunity with a number five team on the home court, or there's a lot of opportunities still ahead with this? Team? Both. Both, you know, honestly, I'd be lying if I didn't tell you. I'm disappointed that, you know, if you're down 15 and, and you close it to five or six at the end, they were supposed to win. I mean, we that that's one scenario. We're we're up, right? We're up what nine or ten, pretty late, and just um, got out executed um, down the stretch, offensively, defensively, by a team that's just that they're better than we are right now, and. Um, we hope to continue to improve, but uh, yeah, we, we wish that we could have finished the 40 because uh, we played a pretty good 35, it's a same, really good 35, the best we've played. It seemed like the momentum, you guys grabbed it right before halftime and then carried it over to the start of the second half. What did you see change where you guys sort of got settled in? The I thought we got a couple stops there early second half, which got us in transition a little bit, and then a couple made threes quickly. Jabri went on a something to nothing streak by himself. Um, he's a guy that just continues to work and, 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 and show people how well he shoots it. Uh, those were the factors that, that come to mind. I thought, I thought mid-second half we did some damage in transition off of getting some stops. And then when we weren't allowed to, to get stops and we were fouling and they're converting at the foul line and we're in press attack and they're just they're so good at um, – at slowing you down and, and taking you out of actions. And um, again, I thought their sideline out of bounds defense too was a huge factor in the game. Yeah, was in, the, in the paint too. I mean, Ralph didn't have the, maybe the best of games. But yeah, and he knows it. There. And he knows it. And um, that's the SEC. I mean, he had one on the road, right, where he goes and gets 18 and 11. Um, and Adu was really good, you know. Um, who knows what our front court will do on Tuesday. but. Uh, I know this with Russ, he'll be back to work tomorrow and um, he'll be watching film and he'll, he'll try to figure out a way to play better on Tuesday. Sounds but that, that, just a, that was a minor factor, you know what I mean? We had uh, three or four guys that wasn't their best, right? And, and Tennessee did too, it's, it's just part of this. Silas had a couple big threes the last two games and then obviously another one today. Just, you know, what have you mm. been impressive about him so far through SEC play and how he's handled it? And you, when you mentioned that one, that might have been the shot that where I thought it was as loud in this building as I've ever heard it. Uh, we're at the top of the key in front of our bench, a place went nuts. Uh, incredible uh, to experience that and for our guys to experience that. But he's uh, – he epitomizes maturity and, and, and toughness for a freshman. Um, his defensive rebounding, um, his, his, uh, his command of the ball, getting downhill, playing through contact, I mean – Ziegler's one of the best defenders in the country, and I don't think Silas had a, if I'm not mistaken, he didn't have a turnover. That's unheard of to play against a top five defense in the country, um, you know, for a, for a true freshman playing the minutes that he's playing. And also uh, playing through him a lot. You know, we, we tried to keep the ball in the middle of the court, and we're, we, we tried to middle ball screen him a bunch. And, you know, his usage rate was pretty high to get, to have zero turnovers uh, speaks to his, his mental and physical toughness.